Wish TV is your education station. Those who teach STEM topics at the highest levels in our state are urging parents and teachers to start encouraging kids to explore the possibilities a little earlier in their education. Dr. Brandon Sorge is an associate professor for Purdue, researcher STEM education as well. Thanks for being with us today. Thank you. Passionate topic for you. Very much so. And very much in your field of study as well. I mean, correct me if I'm wrong, what you do is look to the future and figure out how we can plug kiddos into grand problems that we'll all face as we move on and give them careers. Exactly. We really want to give them that opportunity to find those fields that they can excel in and help move things forward in our lives. Uh, traditionally, and, and we're still relatively early in this idea of STEM, science, technology, engineering, and math. That, that, that phrase has been used for a decade or so. But we're, in your view, maybe thinking about it in many cases too late in the process. We're looking at pictures of younger kids. That has to make you happy. That makes me very happy because especially with women as we're in Women History Month, yep. getting them early is the most important part. We lose so many young ladies after eighth grade, right? If we don't have them interested in STEM by eighth grade, we're probably not going to get them into STEM by then, after that. So we really have to encourage them to be involved and experience these things early on in their lives. Uh, th those kids were doing something. That seems important to this as well. This is not crack a book open and try to encourage somebody to be an engineer. Right. We really need to... An engineer, a scientist, is not always reading in a book. They are doing things. They're experimenting. They're trying to be successful and fail at the same time mm -hmm. because we learn so much from failing. Providing these students that opportunity to really get their hands dirty, get involved in doing things and recognizing that it doesn't always work the first time, doing it over again and then making that meaning out of it afterwards so they really understand all of that stuff that they just did but then as well tying it back to the careers that are out there that they can do things with. And let's explore that a little bit more because you think that's the pivotal point in all of this is, yeah, it's great to have a memorable experience, but if they can't identify something in there as that could be at least pointing me towards something I can do for decades, then the whole thing might be missed? Exactly. And there are so many jobs out there in STEM fields that people don't know about. For example, if you're passionate about photography, we talked about how can you help develop a robot camera, right, that uh, makes news reporting so much better, <laughs> the images and everything. Developing a camera that goes up on a spaceship, yeah. it's on an aircraft doing all these things. People don't know about that. Themed entertainment engineering. So if you have a passion for arts, these themed entertainment engineers who design the things for Disney and other places, People don't know about those opportunities, and it may be you're a mechanical engineer, it may be something else. It may be that you don't even necessarily study STEM but have good STEM knowledge, and you work in a field that's tangential to STEM, that you're working with these companies. Our students need to know more about that and see themselves in these fields and understand what they are and really have that opportunity to explore them. Uh, somehow you found your way to this. Now you and I probably matriculated around the same time. At, at least in my experience it was you never thought of those fields as creative fields. So it almost just cut out half of the possibilities to begin with. They're extremely creative fields. They're very creative fields. And What's interesting is how I was brought up, I had parents that were in STEM fields and it was always about that creativity. But then even as I've gotten older and worked with others in these other fields, I've learned that what I thought wasn't even half of the creativity that takes place. Mm. It is such an amazing thing that these engineers and scientists do. And we really need to make sure our students at an early age recognize that so they can see themselves doing it later on in life and find people who can represent that for them and help them be passionate about it and be successful as they move their way through the system. Love to see your passion for the topic as well and thanks for spending the time with us this morning. Thank you Scott. That's